Yo, what's good guys? Brrr, it's Bad News Production here from Producer Buzz And this week guys, I'm going to be showing you how to sound like Chris Brown, which you just heard So a really really cool kind of vocal preset I'm going to go straight into this video again If you haven't already, make sure you download the free vocal preset below in more description Again, drop your suggestions for next week Friday Which we're going to upload another vocal preset Let us know what you guys want to see Apart from that, I'm going to stop talking, go straight into this Also check out the links below to get some free VSTs, the top 30 VST plugins you should be using as well as the top piano VST plugins the links are all below, you can download them all for free we've got over 200 free to download VST plugins on Producer Buzz so it's cool but apart from that, let me show you guys exactly how to sound like Chris Brown so, apart from me talking, let's go straight into this Hey, what's up guys? How's everyone doing? It's Pad Music Production and I'm here from Producer Buzz and today guys I'm going to show you how to sound like Chris Brown so check this out uh, over here what we've got is we've got this song right here check it out Baby you're a freak Show me how you move so freaky Chris Brown with a lip At the studio yeah we got this feeling so really really cool, really nice song and how did we achieve this? Well first of all we're using two vocal settings on the vocal input as you guys can see just like this so we got sound goodizer and we got the A mode A set all the way up just like that and that's what you guys are gonna do and then you're gonna select fruity multiband compressor as you can see really brings out that vocal you know that Chris Brown inspired vocal kind of settings and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on here on the side and you're gonna select the vocal preset guys just like that and once you select the vocal preset uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the gain just down a bit like this on the low on the mid you're gonna equalize it at 50% like in the middle just like that and here on the high band uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lift it up just about here so about 3.1 dB if you guys look at the hint panel up here when I move it uh, stop around 3.1 dB just like that and that's it that's our main record channel set up so this is how we're going to record and we're just going to press record here now before we press record we want to make sure that this channel is actually selected as the main record channel so you're just going to go in here and click this and select this as red so just right click in there and the main record channel with these two effects is going to be the main recording and we're just going to click on record and play and now we're going to record any vocals So really, really simple. I'm just going to show you guys. Uh, just cut that out at the front, and we're going to put this to channel effect 11 on the side, just like this. Yeah. Sorry, channel 10 <laughs> is the effect channel. Yeah. As you guys can see, sounds really, really cool, and is inspired by Chris Brown, as you guys can see. Really, really simple. So simple as that. Now, obviously, when I was recording this, I had the volume turned a lot, lot down, so it's a bit loud. So make sure you do mind how you set up your microphone and make sure it's not too loud. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. And then we added these 10 stack of effects guys so I'm gonna run through this really quickly again you can get them below in more description and really quickly I'm gonna run through them so fruity parametric EQ2 so this is what it does check it out show me how you move so freaking Chris Brown with a loop so all we've got here is kind of a push in the EQ so presets and vocal presents I'm gonna push up one two and move down the six just like that now on here guys we got the sound good dicer as well and this time we're not using a because we used a to record on this one we're actually using something called the um the c so band c all the way turned up and this is going to make it sound like this check it out show me how you move so freaking chris brown with the loop it's uh 
this is a very cool kind of effect as you guys can see and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add auto tune e effect so this is what it does show me how you move so freaking Chris Brown with the lip as you can see it's very smooth and to get that smooth sound you're gonna select separano and then the key of the beat so any key this is like I, I went for the A obviously and here instead of selecting major or minor like we usually do we're gonna select chromatic and what this will do is it will give us a wide range of scale now we're using auto tune E effect because we want it to be kind of like an effect kind of sound we don't want to kind of go too much with it and then what we're going to do is we're going to go halfway on a retune speed and halfway on a humanize and turn off all the effects just make sure you have auto EFX on and leave it as everything as it is don't worry about anything on the side if you do select anything by accident just make sure you turn everything off and you will get this really kind of sound check it out show me how you move so freaking Chris Brown with the lip now it's so smooth that you can't even hear that it's auto tune there but if I turn it off you will show me how you move so freaking show me how you move so freaking so smooth really really cool then guys fruity reverb 2 we're just gonna add the normal fruity reverb 2 again just a default fruity reverb with 50% input show me how you move so freaking then you're gonna add another fruity reverb too, but this time preset, and you're gonna select small studio, just like that. And you're gonna put the input to 35%, just like this. Show me how you move so freaking. Then at the bottom here, you've got the maximus, so you're gonna put this on. And on the maximus, guys, what you're gonna do first of all, you're gonna click on a low and you're gonna separate you're gonna merge the lows 100 percent to the well just basically turn this knob all the way to the uh, right and make sure it's 100 percent merged i guess again check the hint panel now on the mids guys we're gonna do the same but to the opposite side and only a little bit about 32 33 percent separated to the left and on the highs separated about 50 percent on the highs master we're just gonna leave in the middle we don't need to worry about the master and then what we're gonna do at the bottom here okay but well, we've got the low cut we're gonna click in there and put it on 20 Hertz just like this again look up at the hint panel 20 Hertz BAM and then we're gonna select bands on here and we're gonna change these bands first one to be one minus 1.1 second one to be uh, 0.2 db and the third band which is the high band we're going to move it at 1.7 so about 1.7 db you can go up about 1.9 if you want between 1.9 and 2.0 so i'm going to move it to about 1.9 well 1.7 to 2.0 and it will give us this really nice kind of sound now if if your voice is slightly lower you might want to turn it up because my voice is slightly actually higher pitched I'm gonna take this to about 1.7 which is perfect to get that kind of sound now guys vocal cleaner vocal cleaner is below in more description you guys can go and grab it before I show you what it does check this out with all these effects show me how you move so freaking and now let's listen to it without the Maximus show me how you move so freaking Chris Brown with the lip and now let's turn it down I think I've doubled the vocals by accident. I oh, know. Now, um, we can turn the vocals down a bit. Once the vocal cleaner comes in, it will sound really good. So, now, guys, as you can see, the vocals sound really high. Show me how you move so freaking. This is where vocal cleaner comes in. Check this out. Show me how you move so freaking. Now, vocal cleaner is below in more description. If you guys want, you can go and grab it. It's only a couple of dollars. And there's a preset on here called the Hip Hop Male De Easer. And what you're going to do is you're going to select it. And you're going to put this mix this time on 50% input. And you're going to put the output onto 1.0 dB. 1.0. Just like that. And now you can leave it at 0. I'm going to put it at 1.0. Just turn it down a little bit. 
to about 89%, and this is what it does. Show me how you move so freaking. Chris Brown with a lip. At the studio, yeah, we got this feeling. How cool is that, guys? So cool. And basically, you can do that with any effect on here, just like that. And it's really, really easy. Uh, you got loads of different presets as well. And what this does removes the clicks, pops, gives you a really nice kind of sound, and just makes the vocals perfect for any any system like the PC, stereo, radio, Spotify, your phone, mobile, computer, laptop, you name it, it will sound really good. And that's what it does, it removes the muddiness. So highly recommend this. Always use it on my vocals and I've started using this since 2022. So it's a new thing. And also a soft clipper right at the end just to prevent anything clipping. Now there won't be anything clipping because of the vocal cleaner but just to be 100%, 700% certain, pop that on there and boom, there we go. Just like that, we made this basically. Baby you're a freak, show me how you move so freak yeah. Chris Brown with a lip, at the studio yeah we got this feeling. Bow on the track. This vocal priest, and we got this. Ah, ah. As you guys can see, so cool, so simple, and just like that, we got this really nice sound, guys. Just like this. So, there you go, guys. Peace out. Get the vocal preset below in more description. What do you guys want to see next week? Apart from that, peace out. Subscribe. Ciao. Pooh.